Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Yoru speaking and welcome to play by email 6, turn 156. And let's see what's cooking. Let's see what's cooking all around the place. First off, let's check out the comments on YouTube. So, Philip, can't wait for another episode. <laughs> Thanks for show, all right, Philip? I guess that's you, right, Philip? <laughs> nice to hear that. Roma, I think the upper road to the front is totally useless. What does it give to you? What does the upper road to the front give me? Uh, the answer is quite simple. This is hills, right? If I'm going to control the hills and I'm going to get the road forward, I can back off the units not crossing the river behind here, or I can hide units behind the hills and actually not be afraid of losing them to some random crossbow shot or something like that. Basically, this holds all the vision. This is quite free to watch. And since this is like a hot seat mode, right? That means in your turn, you can basically do something like this, right? You can step forward, see what's cooking around the place and go back. So you don't really have to risk units to actually scout your opponent. Uh, this way, if I control those two hills, I can hide the bulk of my army here because this side can be easily scouted. Uh, by a uh, horseman or something like that, a mobile unit, actually knights because already have knights. That's why I'm making roads here because they're going to be critical. Overall, like roads are super critical for war, and that's why I'm doing them. Uh, okay, Mechcar, wow, that score seeing thing was a huge surprise. Yeah, for me too. That was something new. Fearsome, why building pikemen? Why not samurais? Food for capital. I don't believe actually food for capital is a good idea. And why I'm building a spearman? Uh, the reason for this is quite simple. I do want to have a pikeman here. And I do want to this spearman to switch into a pikeman tech. So I already have some hammers invested in a pike. And why do I want a pike? Well, because he's got knights, and I want something against knights. Overall, this is 22 combat strength. Ah, you're probably right. Yeah, why bother with stupid pikes? Yeah, you're right. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, why do I bother with spikes when I have samurais? Uh, that's actually a good shout. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so probably, yeah, pikes is a bad idea. All landmark. I think you totally could have killed that swordsman if you moved the front crossbow southwest before shooting and then reinforced with another one from the back. I know it would have been in harm's way, but probably would have survived unless he suicides units on you. Also, I think you can possibly farm some naval experience with your triunes, but they would both need to be in front to protect each other, and I think you can use your ally to heal them. I noticed that you only take open terrain promotions on your range units. Can you explain your reasoning? Well, range units promotions, that's very simple for me look at this this land uh, look at this land it's, it's it's bloody old flat land okay having graph promotion promoted units makes absolutely no sense because there's like no hills on this map so a chance that actually i'm going to be fighting something on a hill is rather doubtful right there's a couple of hills that i will need to pick off you know like this uh, maybe some forest units, but later on this is like all flatland. This is just like flatland. So flatland promotion is going to be so much better. Uh, maybe on attack it's not going to be that super crazy, but my units mostly going to be standing on flatland, right? So taking shock promotions is probably the best idea because his unit is also gone. So range units, maybe it's not like that crucial, but I think more units are going to be on flatland anyways. And like on military units, most of my military units are going to be standing on flatland anyways. So like this, we're going to have to cover promotion samurai going to the front line that I should have named. That I should have named. Uh, how long does it take to finish a play by like this? Years, Koiso, years, two to three years. Uh, also, I think you can possibly farm. Uh, the, okay, okay, there was that naval experience with tri beams. Uh, I don't believe we're gonna farm any naval experience around the place, man. 
Uh, because there seems to be some crossbows. So I'm just going to use this to block off this slot. Okay. I think from the score it's 4 points per attack and can double check this with the available trade routes you have with Byzantine. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see the front line here, what's going on. <laughs> cool. Oh my god, that's so rude. Okay, I think I'm gonna stand here and see what's cooking around the place. Aztec seems to be in trouble, but I think he's gonna need quite a bit of troops. Unless he's got a lot of Mandalaku cavalry. Damn, our science is so bad in this game. Oh my god. It's just ridiculous how our science is bad. But it's okay. I'm like, this guy has cavalry and crossbows after he's taking one empire already. Right? Aztecs have Galias' crossbows. I don't think knights, though. Well, science is something I need to catch up. Alright, this cargo ship... Oh my god, Cole, this is like the first thing that comes into your mind. The people die of old age while you're playing play-by-email. Oh my god. Hey, I'm not that old, hopefully. I will live some years more. Food to my capital? I don't like the idea of food to my capital, really. I sincerely don't like this idea. I'm two turning units, almost. I'm almost two turning units right now. Grabbing a heroic epic would be cool, though I don't think it's a good idea. What are... Why is this not... Okay, I've got 62 hammers. Okay, so that's two turning units. Cargo ship, like the hammer cargo ship to my capital, makes little to no sense right now. Kimono, though, has got 90.8 hammers. So that's six turning crossbows. Because this is 120. Yeah, this is almost as it should be. Like that. Marvelous could use another hammer cargo ship. Don't really hurt. Uh, from what I can say, <laughs> my son will continue. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know if he's going to be interested in civilization. I kind of have my doubts on that. Okay, any like trade route quest? No trade route quest. This sucks. Gold is starting to be an issue, though. I will be in a golden age, so I imagine we can survive. We can survive the golden age at least for without a cargo ship, without a golden cargo ship. Food to my capital is not going to be that huge. From the things that I would like, from the things that I would like, when I'm going to start having farms in this city, right? I think we should. Consider sending hammers to Kimono. If this is supposed to be my guild city, I think hammers to Kimono is going to be super useful. That's almost 50% more hammers here. And I don't have hammers right now. I will have food in Kimono. I will not have hammers. That seems like the best idea here right now. Then food to Silverado. My capital is going to slowly grow and population is not going to be that huge issue though. Alright, fine. Yeah, you, you're probably right a little bit. I should send food to my capital because I need to work universities, right? Okay, fine. Let's go. I'm going to regret this though. I'm super sure that I'm going to regret this. But I will need to work a lot of more stuff in here, especially university slot too. Alright. Production armory. Uh, double promoted. Kind of want that. I kind of want that. Double promoted crossbows. 
Sounds okay ish. Sounds okay ish. The question is can we pick something off this turn? Especially I could use like a something rough promoted to put onto the jungle tiles. I actually don't have a crossbow here. But we can do it like this, right? Okay, let's get the general bonus. It's here. Yeah. One, two, three. This is tempting, but it's not going to work that well, isn't it? All right. Let's see if there's something here. Yeah, we've got a crossbow. General bonus. Okay, let's put some shots into it, shall we? Go. This guy can go back. This guy can stay here for now. We could replace... I don't need this crossbow here. We could replace those two guys here. Here, here. I can still upgrade this to a crossbow. We've got a promotion here. Nash is promoted. Let's grab this. Okay, 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 and Samurai to the front lines. This is good. And soon I will have a crossbow here. What about the barb camp? Do we destroy it? And free up a unit here? QBS. Well, I can definitely replace the units and send this guy here. And QBS can gather some experience. I'm going to have three unpromoted crossbows here to farm. And this guy can go forward, so I think that's going to be useful. And for now, this side could be a little bit more fortified with a small addition of moving a troop here. Okay. Anything else? Fortify? Ha, <laughs> QBS, yeah. You forget that we name you? <laughs> what? QBS is here. Okay, road is not that much needed anymore. Okay, any workers that can finish the job this turn? Seems like not. Let's check out the cities real quickly. Ah. We don't have hammers here. Uh, actually, let's put it like this. Production focus, go. Six turns here. So that will take some time. Three turns here. Six turns. Five turns. Six turns. Alright. Seems like everything is cool around the place. Ethiopia and Portugal. Research agreement. Oh my god, this is so bad. Scholars of Laventa seek the wisdom of Great Merchant. Okay, Great Merchant. Uh, natural Wonder to be found on Monaco and Samarkand. Kizil is allied with Byzantines right now and there's no quest. There's three Natural Wonder quests and one Scientist quest. So nothing really in here yet. Except the incense that I cannot grab probably. Unless we're going to trade with Portugal. But I don't really have anything to trade for incense at the moment. Yeah, I don't have anything to trade with incense. Against Mr. Chiman, Copper and Incense. Do I even need Copper and Incense? I need Ivory. God damn it, I need Ivory. Who's got Ivory? Ivory, 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 Ivory. ivory. Nobody has ivory. Alright, so no quest for me, I guess. Okay, so I guess that's it for this turn then. So, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Best wishes.
yourself.